Hello guys, Keep On TV, back for another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Dan Crowley and his season so far. So yeah, this I'm going to be doing a new series. In this series, I'm going to be um, looking at our summer signings. Um, so it's going to be a player per video, and I'm going to be rating them and yeah, talking about what they've done right and that. So yeah, first the first player I'm going to be talking about is Dan Crowley. Now, if you don't know, Dan Crowley is my favourite uh, Blues player currently. And um, yeah, so let's get straight into it. So Dan Crowley was signed from Willem II for £2.2 .2 million in the summer. Um, and yeah, it was a good signing from Pep Clotet. It, he was a player that definitely fitted Pep Clotet's um, style of play. Um, his visions of, you know, his attacking football and that. Um, he was a cam, like, I think his um, best position is in cam. But... He started. He played a couple of games in camp, but um, since we moved to the four four two formation, he's played on the wing. I think he's definitely wasted on the wing, um, and yeah, he was. Um, I think he was brought in to replace Jota, um, but he's done. He, he's got more to his game than Jota. He can actually put in a decent cross in. He's a great, great midfielder. He's got a lot of skills as well. Jota, all Jota did was run down the wing, try to take on four players, and yeah. Nine times out of ten, it didn't work. So, yeah, Dan Crowley is um, definitely a good buy from us. So, of course, he um, scored on his debut in pre-season as well. His um, championship debut come in the first game of the season against Brentford. And, yeah, he's been a really good player for us. Um, he's caused teams a lot of problems. And, yeah, I remember that goal he um, assisted for Odin Bailey. He chipped it in in the last minute against Middlesbrough. And um, yeah, what a, what an assist that was, what a cross. I know the baby was there to head it in and send St Andrews into raptures. Um, he was injured um, midway through December. He's only played 20, well, I only say only, he only started 29 games out of 36, 37. So yeah, there was that time in December where he wasn't playing for a couple of weeks because he was injured. And yeah, um, I still think he's doing well on the wing, but I think his position, I think he's definitely wasted in that position. Um, of course, we're playing 4-4-2 now, so we're not playing with a cam, so we can't really play in that cam role anyway. So, yeah, um, he's playing on the wing and Bella's playing on, the, playing on the other wing. And, yeah, I mean, before the Reading game, um, we was doing all right. Um, the 4 4 twos were definitely working. I mean, we went 13 games and beat him, but I just think that he needs to play camera, you know. Um, but, you know... The four four two is definitely working, so you can't really complain about that. But yeah, um, if I was going to rate Dan Crowder's season out of 10 so far, it would probably be an 8. I think he's done really well for us this season, but I don't think it's a 10 out of 10. Um, you know, I don't think it's been like world class. He's been decent, um, and he's caused teams, like I said, a lot of problems. And he's got a lot of trickery about him. Um, but like I said, he needs to play as a cam, but... Will we change the fight? I mean, I, if the four four two is working, then why change it? Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, that's just a quick video about um, Dan Crowley. Ivan Sunich will be the next um, player I'm going to be doing a review on for the summer signings. Um, so, yeah, guys, hope, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and keep on TV. Thanks for watching. See you later.